My name is Dr. Rosie Kuhn, and I'm from the United States. Uh, I live on the West Coast in the state of Washington. I am an alumni of and a graduate of the Institute of Transpersonal Psychology, where I focused my studies on transpersonal psychology and on spiritual direction. Uh, previously, I was a therapist working in the, in the field of addictions, and I realized what was missing was um, spirituality, was the, the ability to speak within a therapeutic process a, about spirituality. And because in the world of addictions and 12-step program, spirituality is a really huge part of a recovery process. So that's what really influenced my work. Okay, uh, so uh, what methodology or what ways do you use um, to help people to heal them, to treat he them, and so on, to survive in some complicated situations? So I took my work as uh, in transpersonal psychology, spiritual direction, and, uh, and therapy, and I went into the field of, of life coaching. And life coaching is where I work with people who have a specific desire, outcome, or result that they'd like. And my work uh, helps them go from here today forward, which many times is different than the therapeutic process, which goes back into people's history. So what we do is we go from here and now, looking at people's perceptions, looking at their belief systems, and how that either influences them going forward or it stops them and it gets in their way. And in that moment, they can be a choice. They can begin to self-empower themselves to choose to shift their belief systems. So in fact, I've written a book called Self-Empowerment 101. And I train people to be life coaches. I've been training at the Institute of Transpersonal Psychology for over 10 years, developed the training program there, and then have been uh, training people ever since. Um. Maybe you can um, give us some real examples of your uh, life practicing or life coaching practicing, and uh, um, we can see it more visually, more obviously, how it works out. Mm -hmm. um, I work with a lot of executives and uh, people in the corporate world, uh, and I also work with people who are wanting to leave the corporate world. but. Um, that means taking a, 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 different, uh, a different tack, a different path that doesn't include the prestige or the income of a large corporate uh, career. And in, in wanting to go in a different way, there's the challenge between am I willing to give up the prestige and the money and the power, also give up the stress and the, the distress, uh, for a simpler life, am I willing to give this up for that simpler life, even though I know this is in my well-being, this is really important. So that's a kind of a possibility of that a client may come up with, uh, that I help them navigate how are they going to decide to take that leap, in a sense, towards what they're wanting and let go of what seems to be what they should be wanting. So that's a, a dilemma a lot of people come up with is, I should want this, this corporate, high prestige, high power, high money, but I really want this. And how do we decide? So my work is to help people decide and choose in service to where they want to go. Thank you. And finally, uh, what is your opinion? Are they more satisfied, more self-realized uh, uh, when they manage to overcome this leap or this gap, yes, to this more peaceful, more calm uh, style of life? Well, the, the practice of life coaching for me and my specific practice and expertise is to self-empower people to be able to make these choices and to look at their own choice-making process for themselves, so they become more capable and competent, uh, more self-secure, uh, more self-wise, uh, have more fun with themselves because they can, uh, they can do it for themselves. Uh, they don't have to rely on other people, uh, which is important skill, but not from a place of uh, smallness, but a, a place of, of collaboration. 
So this is, to me, a very important piece is that people learn the skills of thought, discernment, uh, what's true. They can think it for themselves and work this process for themselves so they can, it just makes their life more fulfilling. The question. Uh, so, um, maybe in a few words, you can um, explain your opinion about the usefulness, um, if it's actual, because you have explained everything so clear. But maybe in a few words, yes. what for do you do it, and what is the importance of your work? Um, for me, the life coaching, and, and, and like I said, I work with, in corporations and businesses with the same work. Um, it, it's integration of, it's a transpersonal perspective. It's an orientation that includes the whole person. And generally in a business situation, we think we're business people, but we're human beings doing business. And so when, when I can, in, when I can uh, focus on the human being, that in, is in the seat talking to me. I'm listening as the human who's doing what they're doing. And so this is a very transpersonal and very integrative uh, approach, which is, I think, pretty unique in the world, uh, but is, I think, so valuable because it, in, it integrates and allows the human and the spiritual being to be present uh, in, in work and in their life, in their marriages, all over the, you know, in every relationship. Uh, that they have, and it, it's a it's a uh, it's a transformational process and a transformational um, perspective. So, as a conclusion, we can say that everybody should be present in his uh, conscience, consciousness, in his body, in his spirit, and it uh, will lead him to his uh, happiness. Am I right? Mm -hmm. By being conscious, uh, we become more conscious of our thinking, and we become more, uh, uh, we want our thinking to be more clear in alignment with our health and well-being and happiness. And by, uh, by like you say, we being more present in our bodies, more present in our moment today, in this moment, we can be more clear about how we're choosing to show up today in this moment, in alignment with our truth, in alignment with our desires, um, and uh, and be able to choose. I don't want to think things that are unhealthy or not doesn't it doesn't fulfill me. And I can be more at choice in this moment. Thank you very much for this interesting interview, and um, I wish you success and uh, um, let's say power to help as many people as possible. Thank you for your work. You're Thank welcome. you. Thank